for that. Yeah, I think it's a question. question. It's, yeah. yeah, it's not a technical question. It's a question <laughs> of getting carrier consent. Uh, question number three: Why is the DAS so much more expensive than the other solutions? Uh, well, typically a DAS system has a lot more sophistication involved, uh, and it, it provides not just uh, coverage but capacity. And to, to do the capacity, they they have to be able to support uh, a large uh, amount of data uh, going through the systems, which requires some sophisticated circuitry and connection and uh, so with with the uh, with that it, it can be difficult to uh, keep the cost down uh, and they also have uh, very sophisticated monitoring and uh, the approval process uh, that's involved in the IB wave design uh, all adds up over time I think that's why we frankly are suggesting that in the short term, you know, do what you need to do on the voice side from a DAS perspective, from a hybrid DAS perspective. Buy the best technology that solves your voice problem. Uh, our view is that you need a Wi-Fi network. Clearly, you need a Wi-Fi network for your data needs and for other applications inside of a building. I think everybody buys into that. The issue with the Wi-Fi network is whether or not, whether or not it's a, a managed Wi-Fi network that's uh, holistic or whether or not you let residents go do everything they want to go do. But from our perspective, if you put in a you know a managed Wi-Fi network, you can use it not only for for the voice issues in three or four years from now, but you can use it kind of right away for all the data needs that your residents have. So, so we would just caution people to, when you're looking at a DAS product, understand that it's quite likely in three or four years uh, a lot of the the, uh, the products will be obsolete. And we make the caveat that we're really talking only about the MDU and MTU space. We're not talking about arena, arenas, stadiums, or where you've got uh, capacity issues. Clearly, if you've got a capacity issue, you're going to need some kind of a DAS product to handle the load. If you're in an MDU, it's never a capacity issue. It's always a coverage issue. And that's why, from our perspective, Wi-Fi is the ultimate solution. It just We just need to get the carriers bought into all supporting Wi-Fi calling seamlessly with a smartphone. Um, question, do you expect Verizon Wireless and AT&T to provide Wi-Fi calling interconnection? Uh, I don't think we can speak for them. I think what we believe is that the Apple announcement, uh, as it transformed the way uh, cell phones were sold in this country seven years ago, uh, again, if you recall how they were sold before that, the carriers basically called the shots in terms of what functionality existed on that phone and what didn't. Apple changed the rules of the game there. We think if, if everybody with an Apple phone is walking around with the ability to do Wi-Fi calling, that potentially will drive all carriers to support that in native and firmware mode. Any other questions? Uh, so there's a question about whether we get the approval or the owner does. Uh, so. Typically, we will we will work to get the approval with the carriers for the owner, and that will be included in, in the proposal. Anything else? Okay, I think that's it. We uh, we have a winner here. We're going to uh, send the 42 inch TV to Nancy Cope. So Nancy, you're out there. You're on mute. You can't clap, but we hear you. And we'll call you and find a way to get you your 42-inch TV. So at that point, we want to thank everybody for showing up. Uh, thank you for attending. And uh, we, we see your note, Nancy, and we'll get you your TV. Thanks, for everybody, for attending. Thank you, Matt, and we appreciate everybody's time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.